what's going on? Hope all is well. Today is Thursday, 20... I don't even know the date. That's bad. 24th? 23rd? 2024? I think it's the 24th. But I'm going to a call where the homeowner told me the system is frozen. This was yesterday, so we told them to shut the system down. And we're going to go check out what happens. It could be filter, whatever. Indoor fan, who knows. Um, capacitor. Let's see what it is. Hope all is well. A little cloudy out. Still says it's 90 degrees out, 89. But I should be there in like an hour. It's 5 o'clock, 4, yeah, like 5, 5.30. I'm down in White Plains. I got to go up to Connecticut. So, all right, let's see what it is. So I stopped quickly at my house to take a shower because the customer's not going to be home until 6.45 anyway, so now it's 6.30, so that works for me. Let's see what it is. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's fun. Module in a ream. Never, I don't see them ever. That's why they were freezing. It sucks. Some water and board. I don't carry these. I do not carry these. Two oh eight, two thirty. Okay. Check proper voltages coming in and out. Low voltage, which is there. And high voltage, which is there. Okay. What are we doing with black? Your two forty coming in there. Really. Let's see what we have. So that's why they're freezing up. Let me just wait till this kicks up. I had the customer turn the AC on for me. Twenty eight volts. Okay, that's my fan. Brown or green. We have a call, so I should not have commented G. Um, I gotta check up here. Or the call. Comments brown on this one. Oh, there it goes. Condenser just kicked out. No fan. Yep, still no fan. Let's see, comment the G. RG, no call. I mean, no power. That's because it's calling. Okay. RG, no common. Yes. Is this a call? It's after 6.30, and I don't have a variable speed motor with me, so let's see what we can do. Power, that's good. Okay. That's safe, anyway. Still no power, let's make sure. Never know what you run into. 
I'm gonna throw a PSC in here for the night because there's a baby here, like three months old, and there is an elderly woman here that lives here. So, well, not the night. I don't know when we're gonna be able to get it because this is a ream, and I don't deal with ream, but at least get them going. Uh, PSC contactor for G in common. So I'll take my common and G, just like at a condenser, from the low voltage side, high voltage, and then the speed. We'll get it. We'll get it going as long as I have a, um, as long as I have a two hundred eight two thirty. I might have a rescue. Let me see what I have. Okay, I do have a PSC, so I'm just gonna grab. Low voltage this way. I mean, I could just I could just wire it so it just runs all the time. But let me just do it the right way, the way I want to do it. So common G will go on my low voltage to my contactor. If I could put one here, I will. A little tight in this cabinet, but and then I'll grab my voltage, which would be nice. Yeah. So we have a half horse. 208, 230. Get her going. I'll get her going. It's never that easy. Look at that. Came right out, too. Yeah, look at this. Can't spin it. Ream, rescue, stock motor, 1075 four speeds, we're going to use half, so we're going to use a 10 microfarad capacitor, 208, 230, three quarter to, to one fifth. So here we're going to do half horsepower, we're going to go with medium low, it's going to be a 10 microfarad, cool high heat medium low um, right here so we'll get half horsepower let me see the scatmatic medium low yellow and white did I say medium no I said, yeah medium high my bad no 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 medium low but that's not heating anyway right now I'm not really concerned we're gonna get we're gonna get them on uh we're gonna give them high right now. Yeah, because cooling, it's cooling only. They'll have, they'll have a, so it's still half and three quarters of the same thing. So we're Somebody gonna give, just called me. So we're gonna give them uh, black and white right here for the time being. So because I'm not using yellow, blue, and red, I put some mail. And then what I'm gonna do is zip tie them and electrical tape them independently. So they're independent like that. So we're just using our cap. We have cap, cap. I'm gonna use a 10 microfarad cap. And then we're gonna have our L1, L2 like that. Take my low voltage, put some ends on it. For my contactor, that side will be wire nutted. High voltage coming in and coming from. Okay, so and our cap wires. We have our speed, which is our black, and then we have our neutral or line voltage. Okay, and we're gonna grab power from here and bring it over to the bottom of the contactor right there. Pop this on. This comes here, and then my low voltage will grab from G and common, and pop it on each side of the contactor, and that should make this thing work.
What's that? Yeah, that's all. Okay, so basically all I did here, like I got rid of these. Okay, so you saw what I did with the isolating of these other speeds. Okay, took my capacitor wires, mounted them to the capacitor back there. Okay, I taped it, but I mounted it because it's metal and sideways. I took my G. It's just gonna be like a contactor outside with your Y and your common. This is a G and this is your common, this brown. So this brown, and this is your G. I know a lot of times they're blue for common, but this one's brown. Okay, so I came up each side of the contactor. Okay, and then we have in and out, in and out. And I grabbed right here, grounded, um, check direction. Fastened everything up as tight as I can. And then we are going to get them a motor, which I took down to my van already for a couple days from now or whenever Ream has it, United Supply or whoever carries them. Let me just clean this up. Though. So I have the fan set to on. Disconnect off. Boom, to the boom, boom. Then I'm going to show you how when we take off the call for coolant or a fan, it'll style the customer is going to put the fan to auto. Just so you know it goes off. It's not the nicest in the world, the wiring, but listen. Got their cooling for the night or it's the weekend tomorrow, so they're not gonna have this motor by tomorrow anyway. So. Right now the fans aren't on, then we're gonna switch it to auto. There you go. So now we'll check for now we're gonna set put the, everything back together and we're going to uh check the temp right. So this has the older old style damper, so you can put in the winter time, you keep your first floor open because your heat rises and you don't need your second floor as, as open as it should be. Um, in the summertime, you keep your second floor open because cool air drops and you can close that for the majority. I always do like a quarter, three quarter, but I'm leaving these open. That's how they had it. Do you know about going out head west, red lex? TV's all up in the head rest. Still the same. Her flight leaves at eight, her flight lands at nine, my game just rewinds. So we're at 79 at the thermostat and we're at 60.8 here. So we got a 19 degree split, which is good money. And it's probably gonna come down even more, obviously it will, but we have a high heat load upstairs. We'll go check the T-stat. And yes, it is dark out, but you cannot rush perfection. Remember that, you can never rush perfection. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Good money there. I'm going home. It's been a day. It's been a dizzy. Because we're still the same. Yo, thank you for watching again. Please like and subscribe. Take care. Look at this view. It's nice up here. Well, in the fall it is. You can see like the whole... When there's no trees, you can see the whole... Like Danbury, Connecticut. Most of it. You look down there. That doesn't really look like a nice view from here. <laughs>